All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to All Sports Media TV. I'm your host, KJ the Great. Onan, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all the social medias at KJ the Great. Oh, no. All right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. All right. So before I get started, I'm going to always say this. Protect women's sports. Keep women's sports. Women's sports. No man should be competing in women's sports. No woman should be competing in men's sports. We talking about the sport of women's boxing. And one of the rising lightweight stars. Sister of. One of the best heavyweights out there. IBF heavyweight champion. Daniel Dubois. His sister, Caroline Dubois, hard hitting and rising, just just all around a good person, good fighter. Uh, she's nine wins, no losses, no draw, five wins by way of knockout. The current IBO lightweight champion, which is a second tier belt, you know, but she's 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 making it. Um, she'll be making her ring return August third against Maria Manillo. Monio, Maria Monio, uh, 14 wins, one loss, no draw, three wins by way of knockout. Last time Caroline Dubois was in the ring, she got a unanimous decision over um, Miranda Reyes. She retained, excuse me, she retained her title. Um, she did go looking for the knockout. You know, she didn't set it up as well, but um, she she had some really, really good punches in that fight, some hard punches. And it was a credit to. Uh, Reyes that she made the bell in my opinion um I just thought that um I thought Caroline Dubois she she got better but you know kind of just I don't know maybe you just come to the ring one night and you just not placing your punches not going for it at the right time or something like that I don't know but nonetheless she'll be taking on the WBC interim lightweight champion none other than Maria Manillo um she got a unanimous decision in her last fight against Lisbeth Crespo. Before that, she got a TKO over uh, Elise Sanchez. Now, she's, she's a really good fighter. Um, make sure y'all go check out her highlights. I think she's a good fighter. Kind of dips her head a little too much for my liking, but um, definitely poses a threat um, if you can't get around her game plan um caroline dubois though i think she's gonna get this fight i, I don't i don't want to give too much of a prediction right now i want to get it close and let everybody give me their opinions on it um but this is going this is going down at the barnsley stadium barnsley stadium hope i said it right barnsley or barnsley stadium one of the two let me know if i messed it up because i probably did um but i think this is going to be a good fight it's definitely going to be a measuring stick for Caroline Dubois because she's ready to uh, step into that world class upper echelon fighters of like, you know, the Katie Taylors and uh, Alicia Bumgarner's, Amanda Serrano's. She's ready to take a step to get into the range of fighting those type of fighters, even fighters like Sandy Ryan and Scott Nicholson, all those type of fighters. She's ready to be there right now. And I think this is where that measurement stick is like, okay, can you get there? Can you do it? Can you do it in great fashion to support your case? I think she will. I think she'll do it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Hey.